I can defeat Ladybug, I know it! There's got to be the perfect moment! There is another way to use the Miraculous of the Rabbit. <gasps> you could go back to a time before Emily used the damaged Peacock Miraculous. You can save your wife, Gabriel! <gasps> this holds the information on how to repair the magic jewel so that Emily never becomes ill using it. You would just need to give the drive to yourself. Make the right choice. It's not too late. How did I not think of that? Thank you, Natalie. Nuru, Fluff, Bark, Triple Morphosis! <gasps> Are you sure you're ready? Yes. <laughs> Emily. <gasps> Lady Puck, you're trying to trick me again? <clears throat> Not it. Yes, yes, I remember. I know when it was. It's a sign, Hawk Moth. I won't let you destroy my future, Ladybug. I'll be right back, my love. I promise. Unless someone brings me Ladybug and Cat. The big question on everyone's lips. How did Monarch manage to get his hands on the Miraculous Ladybug was supposed to protect? I thought the holder of the Dog Miraculous was Adrian Agrest. You know who I'm talking about? Um, vaguely, yes. Well, it turns out, Flermidable wasn't Adrian Agrest, but I didn't know that, and I mistakenly gave the Miraculous to his cousin, Felix. He looks so much like him, he passed himself off as Adrian. So that's how he stole the Miraculous from you. Yes, and now Monarch has them. In that case, they both made a mistake, because that proves the two of them are linked somehow. We have to hunt down Felix. Let's switch to hyperspeed. Ladybug, you were supposed to protect the Miraculous. You have failed in your duty as Guardian. Dark Wings fall! I swore I'd have you all under my control. Granted, two of your friends managed to get away from my dear nephew Felix. And the Miraculous of the Rabbit did get away from me. But don't be fooled. Now that your powers are mine, Ladybug and Cat Noir's Kwame's will soon join you. But I did protect the Miraculous. Then explain how they're no longer in your possession. The 15 that remained in the box, including the rabbit. What would happen if Monarch decided to use that Miraculous to change the course of time? She already tried. I... But don't worry. We got it back and put it somewhere safe. We trusted it to an exceptional holder. And we're gonna do the same for all the others. Mm, because we finally have a clue that might lead us to Monarch. So instead of blaming us, help us, Grandmaster, and trust us for once. You're right, Ladybug. I should have helped you. Instead, I let myself be distracted by the modern world, like these incredibly expensive shoes and these electronic gadgets that wasted away four months of my existence with videos of cute kittens. <sighs> I've been a guardian for longer than you have. I am more experienced and stronger. Instead of being a piercing spear, I should have been a protective shield. Fine, fine, but please get up. You know, everybody makes mistakes, so uh, just try to find something you can do to help us. That'd be great. You are right. I, uh, I'll go back to the temple uh. to get some backup. <sighs> mm. He's uh. not going to leap all the way to Tibet like that, is he? Let's find Felix! Felix Fathom is the son of American billionaire Colt Fathom, who died last year, and aristocrat Lady Amelie Graham de Vanilli, a triple kung fu and horse riding medalist, chess prodigy, and England's youngest graduate, lives in London with his mother, a twin sister to the wife of famous fashion designer Gabriel Agrest. 
My son wasn't here this morning when I woke up. I didn't worry, though, because I thought he might have gone to see his cousin Adrian in Paris. Those two are so fond of each other. But Felix wasn't returning my calls, though I contacted his uncle Gabriel. He told me he hadn't seen him. And yet he was in Paris. I talked to him. Oh, Cosmo Bug, Astro Cat, I hope nothing's happened to him. Don't worry, ma'am. He'll probably end up at his uncle's. Or he might already be on his way back home to London. Thanks so much to the two of you for your support. What if we're wrong about Felix? Do you think he might be one of Monarch's victims instead? I just don't know. He was our only lead to recover the Miraculous. We'll find more leads, Monarch will keep attacking, and we'll figure out what happened to Felix. Until we do, we're gonna have to be more careful than ever. With all the powers that Monarch has now, we have to expect anything at any time. I know. Let's head back. It's been a long day. Divide! Take me to this statue. Follow me. Will you need anything else? No. Enjoy your visit! Hmm. <gasps> ah, half-wit. 42 Half-Wit Street. Heard that was your address. Yeah! Ah! Cataclysm! Lucky shot! Monarch, I hear you've been looking for me. Nuru Kaki! Easy, Monarch, or I'll cataclysm you. Checkmate, Monarch. Ladybug, I love! Aw, you miss me so much. We're sorry, but he forced us. I know you had no choice but to obey him, but it's over now. Are we going home? Is this what you were looking for, Monarch? My real address was written on this, but I replaced it just before you got here. How? Shh. How did I know you were looking for me? It just so happens I'm notified every time Philippe posts a pic. And I knew that if you ever showed up at the rink, that would mean that you were on my trail. So Count Noir and I rushed here to replace the paper. And the statue. And set up this trap you so nicely fell into. In the end, it turns out the insect that got captured was a moth. <laughs> You're not going any farther, Monarch. I'm still the Guardian, and I'm going to retrieve all the Miraculous you stole from me. <laughs> and if you try to do anything else other than de-transform, Cat Noir will cataclysm you. Nuru, Kalki! Don't do it! Don't make me! I don't know what this would do to you, and none of us want to find out! What we want is to find out who you really are. <laughs> 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 Why'd he do that? Is he crazy? Checkmate, Ladybug. Urukalki Unify! Voyage! Help! I want to stay with you! We had him. We almost had him. The Kwamis were safe. They were right here. I cataclysmed him. I don't believe this. I just cataclysm someone. Granted, it was Monarch, but there's a real person behind that mask, and I must have hurt him terribly. Milady, you've got to fix this. Cat Noir, Monarch just ran away with my lucky charm. Without it, I can't fix anything. I can't call up my power and undo the effects of the cataclysm. There's nothing I can do. Cat Noir! <laughs> Gotcha! Gotcha! If he has the power of jubilation, where's the miraculous of the pig? A business card? With Monarch's address? Cat 
Coca-Cola, your favorite flavor. You know, lately, you've become really charmy owing Am I dreaming or did you just steal one of my jokes? Now that Monarch has been defeated and we're no longer in danger, I think I get why you made jokes. Oh, and why is that? Because it's a way of saying it's good to be together. Is that a joke too? Shut off that alarm clock. I can't hear the movie. Cataclysm the bottle warmer this time. Let's go! They're so cute at this age. I wish they'd never grow up. <laughs> Lady, it's Sunday. We have all of the time in the world. are turning into a real nightmare. <gasps> Kanoar, this is a dream. I know, my lady. Living with you is the sweetest dream. No, you don't get it. We're in an actual dream. Uh, are, are you saying this is all fake? Kanoar, we have to wake up. I don't want to lose all of this. Neither do I, my sweet kitty. So kiss me. Adrian, I was so worried. I'm so sorry for making a public scene. My anger spilled over again, but Ladybug made me realize that despite my failures, I couldn't give up on us. Father, I think I'd rather not wear an alliance. Do you... do you mind? Of course I don't. And please, call me Dad. Our first mission was a huge success, comrades. But just imagine if there were more of us. A greater variety of sauces means no recipe is impossible. Which is why I present Comrade Bernays, Comrade Burgundy, Comrade Cocktail, Grand Veneur, Aeoli, and Comrade Graviche. You were right, Comrade Ketchup. Having friends is like having superpowers. What is she doing here? Oh, my bad. I almost forgot to introduce Comrade Sweet and Sour. Hello, Comrade Bechamel. I know you haven't always seen me as your friend, but now that we're in the Resistance together, the war's behind us, right? Let's make peace. Everybody wants to help Ladybug, Marinette. I use them to give false information to Ladybug and Cat Noir. They'll never make the connection between Monarch's powers and the Alliance. Very well, Gabriel Sun. Let's run! Oh. Hmm? Tiki, spots on! Uh. Uh. 
Sorry for the delay, milady. I got held up. Hmm. Ladybug, cut more! You're going to be proud of me! The superheroes are back! And if you give me your miraculous, then Monarch will renounce evil! The Greven Museum will once again be able to celebrate heroes! That's great! Uh... Veronique? I am Manipula now. If you really want to help us like you've always done, then reject the Akuma. Monarch's manipulating you. Don't worry. If he doesn't keep his end of the deal, then I'll defeat him with my team of superheroes. He can take his powers back whenever he wants, you know. Trust us. How can you trust Ladybug if she won't trust you? You should be the ones trusting me, Ladybug and Cat Noir. I have a team of superheroes, which you no longer do. <laughs> She's right. They're gone because of me. I lost the Miraculous on my team, too. You didn't lose me. As long as Monarch doesn't have a Miraculous, he hasn't won. And we need everyone's help, including you, Veronique. You're right. You do need me. I'm the new hope. Huh? It's a trap! Ah! <laughs> You chose your side. Too bad for you. Illusions. Huh? What is this? Each trip contains a part of the Megakuma. So we've got to destroy them all to capture it. Let's do this. See, I was right. Ladybug is not worthy of your admiration. She doesn't want peace, or she would have agreed to your deal. You can count on me to get the miraculous monarch. Paris has a new superhero. Gather in pairs and get me Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous! In the meantime, I'll make sure the mayor gives way for my museum to honor the real heroes. Mr. Mayor, you're going to allow my museum to open the Hall of Heroes! Uh, yes, I, I, I... Daddy, I, I, no! Ma'am, I'm terribly sorry, but I can't. So be it. Cat Noir! Cataclysm! If you don't change your mind, I'm going to destroy your city hall. Are we still adapting to the times, Mr. Mayor? Daddy! shape these days, kitty cat. We can't afford to make any more mistakes. <clears throat> no. This can't be happening. Emily. I will get the Miraculous before he does. I won't let him recreate a world in the image of his madness. Uh -huh. Come in. Natalie, I was wondering, is everything okay? Yes, yes, everything's fine. What's going on, Adrian? There's this girl I like at school. Should I tell her in person or write her a poem like they do in books? I'm not sure what to do, actually. What about you? The first time you fell in love, how'd you handle it? Me? Uh, well... I spent most of my youth fighting snakes for antiques. Falling in love was... complicated. <laughs> Natalie, is what happened to my mother going to happen to you? No, no, not at all. It, it, it will be okay. Don't worry about me, Adrian. You better go, or you'll be late for school. I'm perfectly all right. Don't worry.
Emily, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know how to go on alone. You're not alone. Oh. Natalie. A long time ago, I promised I'd bring you all the magical items you would need. But I was never able to bring you Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous. It's time I truly delivered on my promise. No, Natalie, you've already risked too much. It's time to risk it all. Akumatize me. Cat Noir! No! Don't waste your power on that! But, milady, I can't answer its question, and time's running out. Be this the kitty you are crushing on. Look how puny he is. Yes, but he's sensitive and devoted. Um, are you hearing voices or something? Actually, I'm talking to Joan. Um... Thanks to the Squagatama that Tiki made for me, I was able to get in touch with the memory of one of the ladybug holders before me. You can't see her, but she's there. Wow, I didn't even know that was possible. And thanks to Joan, I was able to answer that first question. That's my lady, using that Akuna Matata to make you virtually unbeatable in history. Such a brilliant idea. Yes, that's it. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> oh, well. Bravo. Shh, but this won't do us any good here. What do you mean? Can you repeat the question? What will the weather be like in Paris on July 14th, 200 years from now? It's not a history question, it's a science fiction question! A question about the future. There's no way she can answer it. Unless she appeals to my sister. You'll soon have the miraculous that eludes you, Monarch. Only Bonix could answer that. But she can't return to the present. It's too dangerous and we have very little time. Lucky Charm! <laughs> and what shall you be doing with your puny little sword? We're going to send a letter. And fast! Dear Alex, I hope you're well. I know for a fact that everyone who loves you is thinking of you. Your brother misses you so much that he got akumatized. I... But don't worry, I know how to save him with your help. In my future, you'll find this message. Use the burrow to see what the weather will be like in Paris on July 14th, 200 years from this day. Down information on this leaflet. Easy, easy. Finally, go back to my past and hide the leaflet in the Egyptian gallery. Just put it under the cat I circled in the picture. Thanks in advance. XOXO, Ladybug. There will be a thunderstorm! Book of Truth, is it true or false? True! That's impossible, she can't know that! The truth always prevails. No, you just got lucky! No, it was all about teamwork! Charge! Uh, 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 I keep forgetting. See, Dad? Ladybug found a ruse so she wouldn't have to bring Alex back physically. I was right. She's nothing but a power-hungry manipulator. She's the villain, not Mono. Come on, look! That's where the Mega Akuma must be. Got it! Cataclysm! Yeah, I uh, just happened to be in the neighborhood, and uh, there you were. Crazy to see you here. Well, uh, I do uh, <laughs> live here. Ah, uh, oh, right. I completely forgot about that. I mean, not completely, because the truth is, I actually think about you a lot. You think about me a lot? Well, 
So do I. Really? You think about me? Yeah, all the time. I mean, sometimes, you know, like a fan. Oh, so you're kind of a fan of mine? Not just kind of. I'm... I'm a huge fan, actually. Huge fan? As in... Wanting to go on a ride with me under the stars? <laughs> totally. Moonlit rides are awesome. <laughs> like going to get some ice cream. It is hot out tonight. Very hot. Yeah. Uh, but I can't go out for ice cream. I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry. It's going to be okay. Uh, <gasps> Why am I getting angry? Marinette is my BFF. If she wants to pursue Cat Noir, that's her choice. After all, I thought he was cute too at first. Maybe things will turn out awesome between them. In just a few minutes, it's already caused negative feelings between you two. Can you imagine what it could cause between them? Come on, Tiki, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Actually, Alia, the end of the world is exactly the kind of thing that could result from problems between the holders of the miraculous of creation and destruction. <laughs> oh, you're overreacting. Come on, let's go tell her that we love her. Hmm? Marinette? Hold on, you're here, which means she can't have transformed into Ladybug. Then where's Marinette? I don't see him. He's got to be here somewhere. I know how to find him. My friend Max has developed an app especially for locating him. And voila! Andre the Ice Cream Man is on the Ile scene. Oh. Hold on tight, Marinette. <laughs> <laughs> she's not picking up. Do you think she's angry? <laughs> My name is Andre. Andre Glass. <laughs> 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 We're the one that you want to. I'll find love for you. <laughs> Marinette and Cat Noir, what are you two doing here? We're here for ice cream, of course. Unless you're selling hot dogs now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Cat Noir. But I make sweethearts ice cream, not jokers and good friends ice cream. Look, who do you see there next to Jean and Serge? Ladybug and Cat Noir. Their flavor is one of my classics. Love is not something you joke about. You, Cat Noir, are in love with a ladybug, and you, Marinette, are supposed to be in love with Adrian Agrest. Uh, no. no. Alliance, please call Marinette. Leave a message after the beep. Beep. Marinette, it's Zoe. I know how complicated love can be. I'll be outside your building if you want to talk. Tiki? Did something happen to Marinette? No, she's fine. I reclaimed the miraculous from her so she can live her love story with Adrian. Oh, Tiki. And what are you gonna do now? I have to choose a new holder. Oh. And you once were a successful holder. I feel safe with you. I know you'll find the strength to shoulder such responsibility. But what am I gonna do about Nino? It would be best if you didn't tell him. I... I don't know if I can, Tiki. I don't like hiding things from my boyfriend. I understand. If I do it, mm -hmm. you really think Marinette will have a chance to have her love story with Adrian? Mm-hmm. Then if it means my BFF can be happy, I accept. <laughs> right, so I guess I'll go? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Uh. Oh. You think you're gonna have to wait a little while before you head back home? Yeah, let's wait until Ladybug's taking care of this villain. Ladybug and Cat Noir. Scarabella's back. But Cat Noir isn't there. 
I'm sure everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? I am Kiko! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe let's get the introductions for now. Approved! Why don't we start by calming down Kiku? Boya! Sorry. No problem. That's why there's two of us, so we can help each other. Thanks! <laughs> That's impossible! He's got multiple miraculous powers working at the same time! Teleportation! Super punch! Don't make Kiku angry! And, and the, the protection, protection shield. shield! He has to protect his headgear because that's where the Akuma is! Approved! n'est pas ce que tu vois Tout ce qui se combine n'est pas ce que tu crois Tout ce que je désire, je l'obtiens de toi En claquant les doigts Comme d'un battement d'aile légère Je m'élève vers mes hauteurs solitaires Et de là-haut, je regarde en bas En claquant des doigts Beau pas le bas de le beau What has gotten into you? Can you smell that, Natalie? Don't tell me you've been making pancakes again. No, Natalie. Even better. Soon you'll have no one left, Marinette. Soon you'll have nothing. Oh, Ollie is right. I only transformed into Ladybug to escape Adrian. Why am I doing this? Kagami, you okay? <gasps> Nino, fill in for me! <laughs> Welcome, Kagami-san. Where would you like to go? <laughs> How painful it is to succeed at everything so perfectly. But to fail at something as simple as making friends. Kalki, your power is now mine! Voyage, my Megakuma, and feed on the depth of her despair! She doesn't pick up the phone when you call her. She uses a secret language with her other friends that you don't understand. Cow? Hmm? Ryukamori. I am Monarch. You thought you had a friend, but you were mistaken. Let me help you like a true friend. You are not my friend. You're solely doing this for your own self-interest to claim Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. Like you, all I want is to end my suffering. And like you, I need special powers to make it happen. I just want to be alone. And I can help you with that by giving you the power to no longer see or hear anyone. This way, no one will disappoint you again. Long. Your power is now mine. Transfer. I'm entrusting you with the essence of the miraculous of perfection. From now on, the power of elements will be at your service to achieve the serenity you desire. I can't. 
came here, I was so afraid. Afraid I wouldn't be up to the task. Afraid I'd be disappointed. Or disappoint someone. Afraid Marinette wouldn't want to be my friend. All that fear. It's gone. Everything is so calm now. So peaceful. So... Perfect. Everybody clear the canal! This is a mega Koopa alert! Hey! It's starting to look like your record's broken! It's your turn to dance now! Gosh. I really hate the powers of the miraculous when a supervillain's using them. Here, kitty, kitty. can't play both cat and mouse! Cat Noir, it's me. You've got to keep Gold Record busy long enough for me to come up with a plan to defeat him. Don't worry, milady. We're getting along like cats and dogs. <sighs> it's not gonna work if I say time out. Bait, are you willing to take that risk? Of course, Ladybug. I trust you. But do you realize the risks? If Gold Record captures me, I'll reveal everything that's in my heart. I'm sure whatever's in your heart is no problem. It is, Marinette. In this case, it is. And if you're worried you'll reveal the name of someone you're in love with, that's okay. It's no big deal. You're not listening, Marinette. Everyone's allowed to be in love, even when things get complicated and... Uh... What? Did you just call me? Uh, how about Cat Noir? I know too. Uh, how could I? I was careful. I would never. Uh... It's not your fault or Cat Noir's. You didn't make any mistakes, and you won't make any today either. I trust you. What would I do without you? You know where to find me. <laughs> That's an artist that's sure to go up in smoke real soon. Maybe, but guess who will be on the B side of that record? If it's my music you want, Gold Record, then come and get it! Ah, finally the Rebel Rebels come to his senses. No one can resist success in Moolah. Don't stop, Cat Noir. It's part of the plan. Voyage! <laughs> Super excited too. Everything okay, Marinette? Yeah, I'm just feeling a little lightheaded, Tiki. I'll feel better after I grab some breakfast. Aren't you gonna eat, sweetie? My stomach feels kind of yucky. On the morning you happen to finally have a real date with Adrian? Mom! It's not surprising. I'm sure those butterflies are just like the ones I had before my very first date with your father. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Let me take care of it. Go to the swimming pool and meet your Adrian. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. 
Good morning, ma'am. How do we get in? You have to buy tickets, young man. Uh oh, then two tickets, please. <laughs> you're shaking. Are you sure you're all right? I'm okay. I'm fine. I love the swimming pool. <laughs> Marinette, everything okay? Yeah, I just have a problem with my shoelaces. Go ahead, I'll meet you there. <sighs> Marinette, what's going on with you? I don't know. I feel strange. <sighs> Over here, Marinette! <gasps> Need a hand? Uh, uh... Marinette, uh, what's wrong? Leave me alone! I need to be by myself and stop pretending to be so nice to me! <laughs> Whoa, Adrian, that must have been some prank you pulled to make Marinette freak out like that. What did you do to her? It's not funny, Kim. Can't you see Marinette's not okay? Oh, come on. She always reacts like that when someone pranks her. Huh? What on earth are you talking about? Right, you guys wouldn't know. Let me explain. You'll see it's hilarious. It was last year when Marinette and I were in the eighth grade. Every single time her lucky charm adapts. Deprive her of her yo-yo. Without her lucky charm, she won't stand a chance against you. I've tried that before. Sorry I have to bounce so soon. <laughs> It's not funny when I get hit. Oh. Sorry I have to bounce so soon. <laughs> now aim at her yo-yo. Lucky charge! No! <laughs> this is where your luck runs out, Lady Buck. Blue! Yay! Come on, buddy, let's play ball! Hey! Spots off! Spots on! Lucky Charm! Wait, how did she do that? She had time to transform back and forth, you fool. <laughs> if I deprive her of her Lucky Charm, she replaces it. And when we manage to stop her altogether, Cat Noir is right there! Lucky Charm! I'm wasting my time, Natalie. And time is something I can't afford to lose. Every time I use Second Chance, time rewinds for Ladybug, Cat Noir, and the rest of the world. But not for me. I remember every one of those attempts. And so does my body. <gasps> Gabriel, your heart has been hurt. You can never use the power of Second Chance again. And who will use it then? You, perhaps? <coughs> uh, forgive me. As for using an akumatized villain, it's too dangerous. They'd hold sole power over time and memory of the events. And if they foolishly compromise that power, we could lose everything. So far, you're the one who acted foolishly, risked everything and lost everything. Your use of the miraculous is condemning us. Gabriel, you may only have a few weeks left like this, and I don't have much more than that. Maybe it's time to stop chasing after the Miraculous and start looking for a solution for Adrian. Make sure he's not alone once we're gone. Do it. For Emily. Kagami, we're going. I didn't know you and Kagami weren't seeing each other anymore. You were such a perfect couple. It's a shame. Kagami's perfect, but not perfect for me. You underestimate yourself. You and Kagami are of the same design. I just feel better with Marinette. You're clinging to Marinette because her mediocrity allows you to shine with less effort. But you're better than that. There's no one better than Marinette, Dad. If only you knew her. She's generous, funny, creative, brave. Mom told me how you met. You two came from different worlds, but that didn't stop you from loving each other. Why shouldn't it be the same for Marinette and me? Adrian, I'm your father. I know what's best for you better than you do. That is why I'm forbidding you to have any relationship with Marinette Dupan Chang. I know I disappoint.
disappointed you, Mother, but much to my regret, love cannot be controlled. Don't try to convince me that you don't love him anymore. He loves Marinette, and Marinette is my friend. Some knots can't be undone. When the knot cannot be undone, the samurai cuts right through it. You're not gonna let your father tell you what to do, are you? What do you want me to do, Plague? He's my father. I'm sorry you can't come. I can't talk to you. Are you gonna be okay? It's probably because his father wouldn't allow it again. That's okay, we'll see each other some other time. Nothing to worry about at all. You have to take things as they are, don't you? <laughs> <sighs> father forbids any relationship with Marinette. Hmm? But how am I supposed to do that when we're in the same class? <sighs> Adrian, listen to me. When it comes to your love life, you're free to decide whatever you want to do. Oh. Don't let anyone else tell you how to act. Not now, not ever. You're right, Natalie. I don't know what came over me. Ah, he's available again. See, he's acting completely random. He's perfect for me, and you're right. It doesn't change a thing whether I worry or not. So why worry? Come on, let's go. Since we're back home, why don't you get changed before we leave again? No way, Tiki. What if it breaks the magic of the moment? You start putting on socks, and the next thing you know, you're making foolish plans all over again. I've decided that I'd be in my pajamas, so pajamas it is. Uh. Shh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I forgot something. Don't go anywhere. It's better this way. Maybe you would rather watch a movie? You're kidding, right? <laughs> Natalie, you gave Adrian a counter order! The power you have over Adrian doesn't mean you can go that far. You were right, Natalie. It was so kind of you, Zoe, but... Don't ever sacrifice yourself for me or for anyone else. And the same thing goes for your feelings. Uh, I know you're in love with Adrian. Don't sacrifice your feelings for him because of me. He has a right to hear your declaration. Adrian? But you're the one he loves. Even if he loves me, he'd be flattered to know that you love him too. Let him know how you feel about him. Zoe, you're an amazing person. One can only feel honored to be loved by you. Are you sure? Of course. You can't keep it to yourself. But Adrian's not the one I'm in love with. Oh? Who is it then? <laughs> oh. 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 <sighs> I am truly very honored. I mean it, Zoe. Thanks, Marinette. You're right, it's such a relief to get these things off your chest. You should try it too. What do you mean? Adrian, what are you waiting for? Go tell him you love him. But, wait, what? How is it gonna react? And what am I gonna say to him? What if I just do what I always do, mess things up and definitely ruin things between us? Marinette, I've been wanting <sighs> to tell you how I feel since the day I met you. But since you're madly in love with Adrian, I thought it would be pointless and ruin things between us. But look, I just told you, and I can see it doesn't change anything. Which changes everything for me. You were right. Telling someone that you love them doesn't ruin anything. It's time you started taking your own advice, too. What are you waiting for? Go! <laughs> Adrian! <sighs> What's going on, Marinette? I, my hair is a mess, I'm not wearing my princess dress, there's no music, no rose petals everywhere, and we're not on the Eiffel Tower. But even though this isn't at all how I'd imagine this magical moment would play out, it feels right. 
Adrian, I love you. This couldn't be any more magical, Marinette. Adrian! No. Oh. Oh, is something wrong? I don't know. I feel strange. Maybe you should go home. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. The important thing is that I told him how I feel, right, Tiki? Of course, Marinette! You were very brave! You finally told Adrian that you'll love him! That's huge! Yes. Yeah. Ladybug, good. Now we just need to wait for Cat Noir, and then you'll both give me your miraculous. So that's it then! You're working for Monarch! <laughs> You're the reason why I lost the other miraculous in the first place! And why he took them! You gave them to him without any regard for the consequences that might have on the people of Paris! True, <laughs> except I work for no one. I only help Monarch because it served my plans! <laughs> I needed the Peacock Miraculous, and today I need yours and Cat Noir so I can make my wish! You wish? What do you want? What are you trying to do? You're destroying the world, and we don't even know why! When I merge your Miraculous together, I'll make a wish to create a better world, a free world, where no one will be under anyone's control anymore, where no one will be excluded like I was, a world without people like you to decide what's right or wrong, who gets powers and who doesn't! There would be a terrible price to pay. <sighs> and there's no price too high for me. I have nothing to lose. <laughs> <laughs> If you use the same methods he does, I'll never give you my miraculous. Then I'll do without it. If you don't let me recreate the world, I'll use my own power to transform it. I'll just snap my fingers until there's no one left. Hmm. I won't let you do this. And how do you intend to stop me? By now, the whole world's been bathed in the light of the red moon. You don't know what object controls my Senna monster or where it is. If you try anything, I'll snap my fingers. You've lost, Ladybug. No, there's always a solution. Lucky Charm! See? That's checkmate, Ladybug. You're right. I can't defeat you. But winning isn't always what we think it is. For the last time! Never. All of humanity will disappear if you don't hand it over! Are you willing to pay that price?! You're the only one who can answer that question. Monster! You made everyone I love disappear! <laughs> Not everyone. <gasps> Kagami? Felix? What happened? What have you done? I created a better world, my favorite cousin. A world where you're free. What? Everything I did, I did for you. Oh, little Amok, can you feel my anger? Bring light to my creation, dear Amok, and let my emotions come to life. Hello, Red Moon. I'm Argos. Together, we're going to save Adrian from my uncle's grasp so that he can finally be free. How could we fail? Our plan was perfect. It was your pretension that was our undoing, tsurugi san How dare you? Despite what you claimed, your daughter is not under your control. She's the reason we failed. Mother, I can no longer accept your controlling my behavior. To follow one's heart is not a weakness. I was wrong about you. 
You are weak, controlled by your feelings. You are not up to our family's ambitions. But I will not let you add humiliation to the disappointment you already are to me. And if I have to force you into obedience for that Kagami, then I will. You are no longer worthy of our family crest. All things considered, I understand why you like that Marinette Dupin Chang so much. You do? She really is an incredible young lady. Such passion, such determination. Enjoy your time with her, my son. These are precious moments creating memories you will cherish deeply when you're in London next year. May I go up to my room? I think I've lost my appetite. But of course, Adrian, you're free. You really want to send him to London? It's for his own good. And I don't know who could stop me. <sighs> what you did with my father was heroic. I wish I had your courage. I'll always love you, you know. Adrian, is everything all right? Of course everything's all right. Good night, Marinette. Good night, Adrian. Of course, of course, not of course! Nothing's all right at all, that's for sure! How are you gonna be Cat Noir if you're in London? And Marinette, how are you gonna be together if you're not together? What are we gonna do? I don't know, Plaque, but I hope we'll figure it out. Were you followed? My mother thinks I'm at Ikebana class. The ring you gave your mother was a fake. This is the real one. How is this possible? The last of the Sarugis isn't your mother. It's you. The rules of your family no longer have to be created by your ancestors. From now on, they're yours to make. <laughs> We have to find Marinette Pen Chang, milady, and quick, before they all swoop down on her. The safest and fastest way would be to defeat Hoaxer. But how can we capture her? She's everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Let's capture someone with an alliance and take their ring to study how it works. Marinette Dupin Chang! <laughs> Ladybug, Cat Noir, what happened? You were used by an akumatized supervillain. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll fix it. So you just need to remove the ring to escape Hoaxer's influence. Good to know, but we're not supposed to take everyone's rings off, are we? We need to get Hoaxer to come out of her ring and reveal herself, but how? Hey! Stop everything, dear followers! I can feel that one of you has removed their ring. Or rather, Ladybug and Cat Noir have attacked them and stolen it! Revelation! Ladybug and Cat Noir come from the planet Saturn and fart bubbles that destroy the ozone layer. They're hiding on a roof near City Hall! Save the planet, my followers! Catch them and bring me back their miraculous! Catch Ladybug and Cat Noir! Disperse! Your guardian will have a difficult time escaping all of these revelations. <laughs> Revelation, milady. Hoaxer's connected to all the Alliance rings. That's how she located us. Do not put it back on under any circumstances. <laughs> Lucky charm! but we need some very special items. I'll go grab them. In the meantime, you create a diversion. No problem. I'm great at diverting new audiences. Hm. Pardon me. Oh. I got info on Ladybug and her kitty cat. After him! According to the Lucky Charm, the solution is supposed to be here. But what is it? <gasps> I'm gonna have the bomb scoop for Hoaxer. <laughs> Going up. Shh. <laughs> Spots off. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I need Scarabella to set a trap for Hoaxer. Let go of me! Uh, hmm. Well done, Hoaxer. Cat Noir's miraculous is a good start. <laughs> Revelation. 
Gabriel Agrest is an alien who hid his flying saucer under the Pyramid of the Loo. He must have other secrets hidden inside his house. Without ever letting him see you, you will use your smartphone, not your alliance, to deliver them to me. And then you will erase any trace of that transmission. Save the world, dear follower. Reveal Gabriel Agrest's secrets to me. Now, hope, sir. Does this look like a tete a tete to you, pussycats? Ladybug shouldn't be long now, and all the miraculous will be mine! Lila, I'm the one you want. Here I am! No! What are you doing? No proof that we forced you to cheat? Yes, there is. Show me the proof or I'll have my death fire yours! Calm down. But this dingbat will get us caught. You're the one who'll get us caught if you keep getting worked up like this. Mm. What's your so-called proof, Sabrina? A microphone? A video? It doesn't matter. I'll come up with a new lie and people will believe me. I had everyone believing that Marinette pushed me down the stairs. I had everyone believing that I was halfway around the world so I wouldn't have to go to school. And if I wanted to, I could even convince your own father to put you in jail. And that's what's going to happen if you don't hand over that proof. <sighs> there was no proof. Well, until now. <sighs> You've just told everyone who you really are, Lila. A few days ago, Sabrina warned me about what you were planning. Hello? I can't. Not anymore. What should I do, Marinette? Exactly what they're asking you to. We're gonna need proof, and I have an idea to catch them. It just took a little bit of DIY. Hmm. Hmm? I'm sorry for the damage, but it was for everyone's good. I'll fix everything. We owe you an apology, Marinette. And most of all, me. Found, Found it. it! It's weird, I didn't get to use the crown. The Lucky Charm always indicates the right way to defeat the villain. But you also use it to repair the damage. Maybe you're right. Miraculous Ladybug! Ladybug, you are! Huh? The lucky charm wasn't for Miss Ancolot! A crown for the Queen of Brats, of course! Ladybug and Cat Noir have just helped a supervillain force my father, the mayor of Paris, to resign. They have no right to use their magic powers in that way. Lucky for us all, I'm here to defend my father and protect Demotra. democracy! Chloe, Chloe, democracy. Democracy. Well done. What exactly do you think you get to defend? Your father stepped down of his own accord. You see, here they go again, using their powers against Demacro, Demicro, Decromacy. They're not superheroes. They're super villains. That's enough. <laughs> Cataclysm. Until we find a detrimatic solution, I mean a solution that will work, I'll be your new mayor of Paris. That's it. Power must... One sec. <clears throat> I can't say that. It's ridiculous. Trust me. Nothing is more powerful than a lie. Obviously. Power must return to the people. And I am of the people. Which is why, as of today, the super offenders, Monarch, 
Ladybug, and Cat Noir are outlawed. Go pack your bags. The plane to London leaves in an hour. Dad, tonight's the end of the school year dance. Adrian, I am your father, and I refuse to hear another word. Your powers have evolved. Do you realize what this means? You've grown up. You're stronger now. I wish it were true, Plague. I'll try to believe it is anyway, for you and for Marinette. You cannot disobey your father, but don't let anyone stop you from loving who you want. <sighs> father, please, I know what I want. Let me live my life here in Paris with Marinette and my friends. You must go through with this like an aggressor. That's what your mother would have wanted. No! I'm sure that mom would have just wanted me to be happy! Adrian! Marinette, I should have told you sooner, but up until the last minute, I thought I'd find a solution. I tried everything, I swear. Adrian, what... what's going on? I have to leave Paris. I'm not worthy of your love. I feel terrible for hurting you. I'm sorry. I made you a promise, Adrian, remember? Well, I'm going to keep it. I'll never abandon you. We have sold enough alliances. Everywhere in the world, people are now at our mercy. Once Kagami and Adrian are safe in London, we will launch Operation mm. Perfect Alliance. Adrian! Uh -huh. Stop! You're not allowed to be here! Adrian! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to tell you? Well, guess what? Adrian's moving to London. None of you will ever see him again, and you will suffer. You're ridiculous, utterly- Be quiet, Chloe. I already know your little secret. I know because Adrian told me. I also know that he loves me, and there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing. You've lost any and all power over us. You're the one who's ridiculous, Chloe. Utterly ridiculous. Enjoy your trip. Some time after his son was born, the Lord of War fell ill, and the weaker he grew, the more convinced he became that he was paying the price for using magic. He started to see his child as a monster, and soon his fear turned into hate. Monster! 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 The miraculous child did not understand. Why didn't his father love him? Felix? And why did he feel obligated to obey all his orders, no matter how unfair they might be? Sit! Stand! Walk! Grab! And if he became fond of anyone who displeased his father? No! An order from his father was enough to trouble his feelings. Monster! 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 The child realized that his life was linked to that ring. And it was only when his father died that he could recover it. 
his freedom along with it. He understood that the amulet that had allowed his mother to give him life could also take it away. So he went to the house of the tailor who had become a prince to steal the jewel. But the tailor had become a powerful prince. The child had to steal other magical amulets that the tailor desired. Only then was he able to make an exchange. The day I lost the miraculous! I carefully held onto the magical charm that your guardian ladybug had entrusted to Gabriel Agrest. Unaware that he was me, and the cataclysm that your friend Cat Noir inflicted on me won't have served only to destroy me in the end. The cataclysm dust and the magical charm has provided us Ladybug and Cat Noir's quantum imprint. Such irony. They've personally provided me with the weapons to defeat them. Transfer! Hello. I am Gabriel Agrest, designer of Alliance and father to Adrian. My son and his friend Kagami are victims of Ladybug and Cat Noir. If you want to help me save them, say, Alliance, miraculize me! Alliance, miraculize me! Take off your rings! It's a trap from Monarch! He's found a way to take control of Alliance! Ivan! Join me, Milan! Let's find Ladybug and Cat Noir and free our friends! Ivan, take off your ring! Wait up, dude! <laughs> Where's Ladybug, and why aren't you with Cat Noir? Precisely. Would you agree to be my temporary holder? Doesn't feel like I really have a choice here, do I? Wait, what if I get akumatized? I know who Ladybug is. <laughs> I keep having this haunting nightmare where I gave the miraculous to Monarch. Besides, with Cat Noir's powers, I could... I know, destroy the world, blah, blah, blah. I'd better find a ladybug then, and quick. I could help you if I still had a phone to call Marinette. Well, all right then. It shall be Plague alone versus the rest of the world. Pick up, please. Voicemail. Meow. Cat Noir, I need you right now. I'm at... <gasps> Ladybug and Cat Noir's quantum imprint detector activated. <laughs> Ladybug's in there! A Ladybug imprint has been detected in your home, Gabriel. <sighs> She's probably trying to flee from the Miraculize by hiding here. How very ironic. Ladybug! Ladybug. Where are Kakami and Adrian? Venom! What on earth are you talking about? Ladybug! Ladybug! Where are Kagami and Adrian? Release them! You're trapped, Ladybug. In a moment, your Miraculous will be mine. I can't detect any imprint for Cat Noir. She's alone. That will make things even easier. At least you can always count on the villains to find the superheroes. That's a long story. Your reunion will have to wait! Rock and roll! Dad! The United Heroes! In here! 
Quick! How do you resist the nightmares? I am the nightmare. Lady Dragon! Ladybug, what are you doing? Uh, Enough! Give me your miraculous so I can make my wish! Never! No wish is worth the price that the world would have to pay in order to satisfy your desires! <sighs> are you sure that no wish is worth that price, Marinette? <gasps> no! This is impossible! I want my wife, Adrian's mother, to come back to us. Once our family is reunited, Gagami and Adrian will become the eternal icons of this world, and we will be here to witness their absolute triumph! Your wife? Come back? Kagami and Adrian, eternal icons? How many lives are you going to ruin in the name of your crazy dreams? As many as it takes. Ah! In order to bring Emily back, someone else will have to disappear. In order to heal the wound that Cat Noir inflicted on me, someone else will have to be wounded. Someone else? But who? Anyone. No one matters except us. How about you, Marinette? Wouldn't you give your life for your sweet Adrian's happiness? Do you really think that's what he'd want? To discover his father has turned into a supervillain, willing to make innocent people pay the price of his madness? Adrian would do the same thing! Never! Unlike you, Adrian has made his peace with it. He's not living in the past. He has a whole life ahead of him! You'd know this if you ever took an interest in him. But in reality, Adrian means nothing to you anymore. You've locked him in your house. Locked him in your alliance rings. Locked him into a life that allows you to hide behind him in order to justify your madness. Lucky Charm!